I mean, it's tough. <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna lie. Just so many people coming in town, and my family, and grandma, and you know, a little bit of everybody. So I'm excited about you know them coming and just being a part of the last weekend. But even with that, you know, no, we when we're on, in between these lines, we gotta focus. And I think you know, for me, just really trying to lean on my teammates a little bit, and uh, you know, just staying focused, staying steady being here for them and doing what I know I'm capable of doing on the court. Has it hit home yet that this is the end? Uh, it's starting to, you know. Um, Connecticut was the last tour stop, you know, the last legacy tour stop and just post game means so many fans there and everybody just kind of like, you know, talking about just the appreciation of what I've done and um, I think riding home that night, you know, it's an hour away, so you get an hour drive <laughs> from Mohegan back to the airport, and it's just like, gosh, you know, putting everything in perspective and knowing that this weekend is it, um, regular season, and then, of course, going to the playoffs, but I think just knowing the end overall is coming, it's just kind of, not scary, it's just uh, kind of surreal, you know, because I don't know what's next, but I know that my body needs to rest, so I'm looking forward to that. And um, you know, but I'm 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 excited. I'm excited about the future. You know, sad because I won't be in the locker room every day with these ladies and the road trips and just all the fun. You know, going out to eat and the jokes that we have. And, you know, like that I'm gonna miss. Um, but you know, like from the physical side, you know, just waking up and your body hurts and you know having to get in the cold tub and the hot tub and you know all that stuff. While it sounds great and uh, and very relaxing. Um, you know, just being able to let my body heal. Like, Has this season flown by or not? The beginning was slow. Since the Olympic break, it's been like, you know, I was talking to Erica Wheeler about that. Just, man, like literally, it's like, okay, we got back and we got 10 games left. And now it's like, oh, we only have two more games left. And then the playoffs and, you know, so like from that standpoint, it's just since the Olympic break, everything just gone like, like a blur. Are you saying goodbye Sunday, or how do you look at it? Uh, I mean, on to the next and getting ready for the playoffs. And not a goodbye because we haven't finished yet. You know, I think just yes, goodbye from the sense of, all right, this is my last regular season game. See you guys later. But now it's like it's a brand new season. We got to get prepared, and every single game we got to be focused. When you look at your career on and off the court, what are some of the things you're proudest of? I'm proudest of on and off the court, proudest of my foundation. You know, I'm really proud of just what we've been able to accomplish and changing lives and you know, one of the reasons for the legacy tour and one of the things that I talk about in every single city is all the players that came through. It's not necessarily what you do on the court. You know, that's great and you set all these records and you get all these awards and you get championships like that's awesome because you get to celebrate those. But at the end of the day, you know, one day, I mean, like I said earlier, we had two, Amber, Amber and Tashia, you know, who started out in my first camp ever yes. and, you know, made it to the WNBA. Amber, of course, got a couple championships with Minnesota. And so you look at just being able to make an impact on somebody's life and where they go and the impact that you make on one and the impact they make on others. And that's just kind of, you know, how it continues to grow. You said you're looking forward to the next day and being able to rest, but can you really believe that first day you won't go get a run in, you won't go swimming? No, nothing. I'm not. <laughs> no. I really believe. I don't, I don't believe that I'll lay in bed all day, but I really do believe that, you know. I mean, the first thing now you wake up and it's like, okay, I got to get to the gym. You know, I got to get there, especially I got to get there super early so I can get my body warmed up and, you know, get some shots up. And if I need to lift real quick or whatever I need to do to kind of get going, like that's the first thing I think about when I wake up. Can I move? Like feeling my toes, feeling my knees, like bend everything. Okay, today going to be a good day. And then I go. But, you know, that first day I'm just... When's the last time you ha have been able to do that? I don't know if I ever really have. You know, I mean, of course, even on off days, I still do stuff to keep my body going. So, you know, we got married in February and everybody's like, how come you didn't go on a honeymoon? I said, even if we would have went on a honeymoon, I still would have had to work out. So... I might as well wait until after everything's done. And then like, would, go. like, would it go back to high school maybe since you had a, a day where you just hung out? Yeah, but you know what? Like, this is not a job to me. So I enjoy, like, coming to the gym. I enjoy waking up and being here all day. Like, I enjoy that. So it's not necessarily something that I'm like, oh, I gotta get up and go to the gym. It's something that I enjoy doing. Most farewell tours, the athlete gets stuff. <laughs> Uh, you decided to give back. What? Why did you decide to do that? What gave you the idea to do this legacy tour? Because I don't need anything nor want anything. And um, 
I'm so passionate about what I do in, in the community and with the foundation. And one thing we've been looking at is how are we going to expand? How are we going to get, you know, I want to be across the world. And how do we do that? And it only seemed right that you start with the 11 cities that are closest outside of Indianapolis that are closer to you, that you know you have an instant access to. And so that's why we decided, hey, you know what, let's like, try to do this. Or try to try to work on it and all the teams jumped on board right right off the bat and you know, I think they appreciated the fact that they didn't have to find something for me you know like what are you gonna I don't need a rocking chair that's what they gave Lynn and you know all that stuff and I mean of course being able to, to raise money to go back and next year 2017 we're gonna go back to each city and and, and host a camp or a clinic in conjunction with the foundation and you know the team and so that is my way of keeping the legacy alive and my way of being able to to get gifts to myself because the gift to me is being able to help others has this season helped you appreciate more of what you've done for this league yeah in a way um the legacy tour definitely through that you know just being able to go to every city and the one thing is for 15 years literally like you go to a city you play and then you leave and this year really being able to have the fan interaction and get to know other people's fans and get allow them to ask the question that they wanted to ask me and um and even just to spend a little bit of time with them you know it, it's been very rewarding um so, you know, you ask like, okay, you don't want anything, but in a sense, like I don't, I didn't want anything, but what I got back was greater than what I even imagined. I think my legacy um, on the court, just how hard I work and just being a great leader, becoming a great leader over the years. Um, but then of course, off the court, the foundation and just how you're able to take the passion that you have on the court and still have that same passion off the court. What's the biggest change that you've seen in the league from maybe your rookie season until now? I think the biggest change is, um, I talked about this the other night, but I feel like when I came in, it was like you had like you had your specific positions. You were the one, you're the point guard, you're the two guard, you're the three guard, you're the four, you're the five. But over the years, it's like the more versatile you are, the more attractive you are for team because there's only 144 spots. So now I don't just need a point guard. I need somebody that can shoot, pass, rebound, dribble, you know, like defend. I need somebody that can do all the skill sets and not just one that's just a post player. Like all you can do is play with your back to the basket. Now we have, you know, other post players that can pull out, they can shoot. You know, some of them can shoot threes and got Candace Parker. Yeah, I think that was probably the first set. And then Elena coming in, you know, being able to bring the ball up the court, shoot threes, I mean, do a little bit of everything inside, outside. And I think that's where the game is definitely going. How long can this team prolong your final season? We'll see. You know, I think um, we definitely have the pieces. It's just mentally. I mean, we had, what, 27 turnovers or something ridiculous the other night and the loss, and we can't afford to have games like that. So for us, we got to kind of reshift our focus, and every single game matters from here on out, really just having that championship mentality. My, yeah, that championship mentality.